Welcome to Maven Knowledge. This is the uh, third video on English grammar, and uh, this is again a second chapter. As today, I'm going to cover uh, the second part of noun, and we'll talk about abstract and concrete noun. If you have not referred to my previous videos, wherein I have talked about uh, proper and common noun, uh, kindly refer to that video uh, for uh, uh, better understanding on uh, proper and common noun. And so now let's begin with abstract and concrete noun. First of all, if you are not aware what is noun, uh, this is the name of a place, person, thing, animal, idea. And these are all the examples when you, uh, you know, just, uh, name of a person, name of a city, a name of a place, name of animal, things, and ideas. And uh, as mentioned earlier as well, there are uh, nine types of noun. And in my previous video, I have covered uh, and talked about proper and common noun. So what is abstract noun? An abstract noun is a word for something which you cannot see, hear, touch, smell, or taste. But is there. It has no physical existence. It is intangible. So generally, it refers to ideas, qualities, and conditions. Examples are leadership, friendship, childhood, brotherhood, mankind, hatred, dedication, freedom, peace, joy, kindness, truth, lies, happiness, sorrow, time, humor, patriotism, etc. So these are the examples of an abstract noun wherein we are talking about an idea, we are talking about a concept, a, a, we are talking about you know, things which we cannot touch, we cannot feel. My friends wished me luck for my exams. So luck is, uh, so luck is an abstract noun. We cannot touch luck. We cannot see luck, but we can feel it. Okay. Next is loyalty. Loyalty is a virtue that is rare these days. Childhood is the best time of one's life childhood. Honesty, kindness, faithfulness, fidelity a few of the good virtues one should have. People are now losing faith in humanity. So luck, loyalty, childhood, honesty, kindness, faithfulness, fidelity, faith, humanity. These are all example of abstract now. This is an idea which cannot be touched. What is concrete noun? Concrete noun is the exact opposite of abstract noun. It refers to the things we see and touch. It is tangible. Examples are chair, table, hand, finger, train, police, bat, ball, car, perfume. So you can have a look at all these examples. It's quite detailed. Then we are talking about anything which is uh, you know which can be touched which can be seen which is something that is tangible and abstract on the uh, other side was something that was an idea that was a concept which cannot be touched difference between concrete and abstract now so concrete now is an uh, is a noun which can be seen or touched that is tangible. Abstract is cannot be seen or touched. That is intangible. Pencil, dog, curtain, bed, cup, etc. So these are all concrete now. Abstract is honesty, faith, trust, hatred, love, etc. These are the example of abstract now. So it's very simple. Concrete is tangible. Abstract is intangible. So, uh, this was all about concrete and abstract noun. Uh, kindly refer to my other videos on uh, noun. And in, in the next chapter, I'm going to talk about the other two nouns. And uh, if you have not, uh, you know, uh, referred to my previous videos on uh, proper and common noun, do uh, watch that video as well. It will give you a good understanding about uh, you know, what all types of nouns are there and uh, see you in my next video.